Hey everybody, Rebels of Cloud 9 here. I'm going to be doing an inbox review today on the re-released 125th scale AMT Batmobile. This is from the 1989 Tim Burton movie. This has also been called the um, Keaton Mobile by fans and I'm very excited because I really wanted this kit and this was earlier in the year and then I found out that AMT was actually going to re-release it so I'm super excited it is out I have one I'm kinda of tempted to actually buy a second one because it's so cool so here on the side we get some pictures of the original Batmobile and uh, some very nice screenshots there and what's also really cool about this set is it comes with a display backdrop right here so it's pretty awesome. And then on the back of the box here, we get some of the features of the kit. We have the machine guns, the 250 calibers, or are they 30 calibers? I can't remember. Um, the engine comes out here, so we have a full detail in there. We have a cockpit and all the nice detail inside of there. And these computer panels that pop up in front of the windscreen, which I have to admit I don't remember from the movie so maybe that was maybe that was like a thing that it did but they never showed it now getting the box off is quite a challenge there it's nice and tight so here we go first sprue is chrome yuck <laughs> I don't like chrome personally it's not my not my favorite thing for modeling, mainly because you can't patch it up if anything goes wrong with it. But the the details are excellent. Oh, look at these little Batmobile hubcaps. Here we have the exhaust for the back. I love the little bats on there. They look that just looks great. And here we have the front intake and then the two sides. And the guns are molded in chrome as well. So I'll probably remove that. The, the chrome, that is. It'd be a bit easier to paint without them on there. Besides, I don't actually think there is anything chrome on the Batmobile. At least not that I recall. I really don't recall. And I just watched the movie just a little while ago. So... Here we have the engine. I'm not sure what these are. I haven't seen any instructions for this. These are those two computers, or those displays, whatever I want to try and call them, which I can't. Um, here we have the front of the cockpit there. That looks excellent. And then this is the front intake right there. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Here we have more of our cockpit section. And we actually get some nice detail. It looks kind of like fuzz, but then we have some ejector pins, which is a bit sad, but you're, I don't know. You can cover that up. And man, that looks really cool. All these dials and their, uh, instruments there. Looks great. Absolutely thrilling. To finally get my hands on one of these. Here we have the fins for the back, sides of the exhaust. I'm actually surprised how much of this kit is pieces. You know, I thought I thought stuff like like these and and these would be molded into the frame. Um, speaking of which, here it is. Oh wow, this is bigger than I thought it was. Cool. This is way bigger than I thought it was. Whoa. Okay. This just became the coolest kit I've seen in a while. That is excellent. Detail is stunning. Like, look at this. Get all these nice little grids on the intakes here. It's already molded in there and everything. Whoa. I am definitely happy now. And then here's the bottom of the chassis and everything. That is excellent. It's just exquisite. Uh, 
and yeah, it's pretty big. I'm really surprised. I actually thought it would be smaller than that. And here we have some tires. I'll leave those in the bag. And a metal wheel. Or, um, you guys know what it is. It just left me. Uh, and they're actually Goodyear tires. I don't know if they actually say that on the Batmobile. That'll be interesting to see if it does. And I'll leave these in here too. Here's the clear parts. And we have some red parts. Red clear parts as well. This is fantastic. I can't get over this. I really, really can't get over it. So it is a round two release. Okay, so they are, yeah, that's what I was wondering with the pieces here. I, I was wondering if they were um, posable pieces or you had to have them that way. They, you, have to, you have to choose which one you'd rather have, which isn't bad, but there's not a lot actually to the instructions. They're very, very short. This is basically it, but they look great. Like, they have this really awesome looking style to them. I love that. That looks... And here we have the display base. I'm not going to open this. It's very big. Um, it's going to fit the size of the Batmobile. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. And then we have, lastly, in here, uh, round two little booklet and actually there's one thing I want to see on the instructions here axle rod that's what the metal thing is that's what it is because I think I'm missing one because that would be super nice if the wheels rotated freely no they don't only the back ones do so you got the rear one there Hopefully these rotate on their own. Oh, it's to compensate for the engine going through. Oh, okay, that does make sense. That's a little sad, but again, I understand why. But I might, I don't know, but I, I might just drill a hole through it and make another one of these, because I'd love to have that instead of the engine coming out, but who knows. Uh, yeah, AMT's re-release of the Batmobile. If you're a fan of the Keaton Mobile like I am, a Batman fan, this is definitely one to get, guys. I'm seriously considering getting a second one. This is awesome. This is way better than I thought it would be. I am totally, totally thrilled with this car. It's a great-looking car. It's a great-looking model. I'm, I'm just blown away by how nice everything looks on it, and, um... I don't know if it's a limited release. That's the only thing I can say. I'm not sure. I don't think it's a limited release. I think they're only going to have it for, like, like you know, you know what I mean, like a limited run. I think they're going to have it for several months, and then it will disappear. But it's not going to be like buy it now, buy it now. But I would get it now, um, and because this one has been on a lot of people's lists. Um, this and the Bandai version, which I don't think I'll. I don't think you can get that one anymore. I have seen it about, but um, I really like this AMT kit a lot. And so I'm going to be very excited to start building this one. So, if you can, and you're a huge Batman fan like me, get this one. It is, it is wicked. It is just beautiful. I love it. I love the shape. I love this kit. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this inbox review. This is Robs of Cloud 9. Again, this is the AMT Batmobile. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later.